Hey guys, welcome back. Today, it's gonna be a short video, but we're answering everyone's number one question. It comes from friends, family, strangers, on the internet, in person, everybody wants to know, which is? Why we choose live here and not in the US? I'm sure you're wondering the answer. So what is the answer? Um, I, there, I mean, it's, it was, I'm not gonna say it was a complicated decision because I made the choice pretty early on. I said, I knew that I didn't want to continue in an international long distance relationship if we weren't gonna live together eventually. Like we didn't know we were gonna get married at first, but like we needed to at least try it out and we had to pick a country. So I offered to move here to the Dominican Republic before Juan Carlos even said anything. He never said anything about the US and it wasn't until months later that I found out about six months later that I found out yeah. how he felt about the US, which is Well Not I, anymore, not anymore, but no, at the time he felt Yeah, but in the beginning I didn't know, like the idea the to move to the US. I didn't like the idea because I didn't feel like comfortable like with the idea because my English was terrible. My Spanish was also terrible though, so. No, your English, your Spanish is better. Now, no, when oh, this, when oh, we decided this, I didn't know Spanish either. Continue. Yeah, and like, I haven't, like, I haven't finished my school yeah so i like i thought it was it would be difficult for me to work to find a job in the u.s and here i can do whatever i want and things are different so yeah i never been in the u.s but i have friends that live there and they tell they used to tell me that the life there is not like well, wow, people think. Yeah, life of the life of an immigrant is yeah not glamorous. Um, and I didn't know that when I moved here, but now that I've now that I've been an immigrant myself, I could never ask somebody else to do it. It's so hard, and it's easier for me here than it would be for the U.S. No, for it's Juan easy for me here. No, but I like live here. it's easier for me to be an immigrant here than for him to be an immigrant in the U.S. Yeah, it's my my degree is worth a lot here it gets me a lot of jobs um better pay. his degree in the u.s is not gonna be worth anything um his like he would have to get most immigrants when they move to the u.s like they might have a full degree and be very qualified and then they have to like work at a restaurant um his english has gone pretty good but it's still like the written part is still really hard um so it would just there'd be a lot of barriers, and then there's racism. There's a lot of discrimination against immigrants. He has the double whammy. He is Latino and black. Yeah. So, which is a surprise for him because he doesn't think he's like here. He's not considered black. Yeah, he's I'm not a black. Light here. skinned. Well, like I, I would say I'm brown. Let me clarify. Brown. You know you're you have African roots. He knows he is black in the sense of that he's African. But like here, he's not considered black because here the word black refers it's to really, the shade of yeah, your skin. Yeah. So when I first told him that he would be black in the U.S., he was like, "Well, I'm not like I'm black, but I'm like light colored." Okay. So um, that so that would be like that's a whole thing um, that I wouldn't want him to go through. So um, those were some of the reasons. That was that. That was like. That was the reason. It's a lot easier for me to be an immigrant here than for him to be an immigrant there. But uh, also, we didn't really talk about it at the beginning. It was just me who uh, said I'm moving. I don't know, guy, if you heard of uh, the words that chapiate la visa. Um, the visa. Like, you know, when, when like people marry for This is visa. the meaning of words. So we say, hey, chapiate la visa. So. So normally it she refers did. to the fact that, you know, people from other countries try to date Americans to get a visa, but I don't have it visa. also proves that he was not just in it for the visa. 
because I'll be honest, if he had come at me like in the first month and been like, let's move to the US, I'd have been like, what are you really here for? You know? For the so, green car. <laughs> um, it's, it was, um, I wasn't thinking about that. Like it wasn't a test when I decided to move here, but um, it definitely helped me know that he was in it for real. <laughs> So yeah, those are some of the reasons we, I'll talk more about culture shock in another video. Yeah. Um, it's been like, it's easier now. The beginning when I first decided to move here was crazy and I hated it and he hated me and it was. <laughs> yeah, because I love, uh, I hate teaching yeah, and I had to teach her uh, like everything. And I didn't like learning to be an adult all over again, but that's a topic for another video. Yeah. Um, so. If you like our video, subscribe, thumbs give it a up. thumbs up, ask any question you have in the comment and we will respond to all of your questions. See you next time. See you in the next.